are we there yet? Bex and Dan are on a road trip. Roads have been around for hundreds of years. But how do you build a road? What makes a road perfect? So, I reckon the perfect road would have free Wi-Fi, kitten stroking stations, as well as petrol stations, and I think I'd go for some stripy tarmac. Well, this isn't the perfect road. It's very noisy and it's full of potholes as well. I feel a bit like a bouncy ball. At least we're in a car. Imagine if we were on a bicycle. Or in a wooden wagon like the Roman times. They would have needed a lot of comfy cushions. Never mind kitten stroking stations. The perfect road should be smooth. Agreed. A lot of work goes into making the perfect road and the surface is a big part of that. Imagine how they did it in the past. The first job was to clear space for the road. Trees, boulders, stumps and stones would have to be moved. And in the days before diggers and tractors, this would have been done by hand. Or if you were lucky, with the help of a horse. Labourers would use rakes and scrapers to smooth the surface, to make them safe for wagons and stagecoaches. Last thing you would want was lots of potholes, or your wooden wheels might break. At least we're on a motorway, not a winding little country road. As it's straight and wide, we can go much faster. I wonder who decides where to put roads? Where roads are built is just as important as how they're built. The aim is always to find the quickest and shortest route between two points. This makes it quicker to reach our destinations. We have lots of technology now to help us work out the best routes, but it wasn't always so easy. If you were a medieval road builder, you'd have to get out in the countryside to map a route, making sure you'd made careful notes of all the obstacles along the way. Planners used metal chains to measure the distance between two points. Each chain was 66 foot long and 80 chains equaled one mile. And if they needed to check the direction, well, they'd use a compass. I'm definitely glad that I'm not on a horse right now. No offence to horses, but it must have been horrible travelling around in the past, when the weather was bad. Yeah, and imagine all that mud. People have always tried to improve roads, and another important part of making the perfect road has been to make them tough to handle the traffic, and help them cope with all weathers. Large stones were spread evenly on hard earth, and topped with smaller stones with clay and gravel on top. Drains were added to help water run away, so that the surface didn't get clogged up with mud. Look, Bex, we need petrol. We better call into the service station. Now, what's the chance they might have some kittens to stroke? I'm guessing not much chance of that. Oh, that's rubbish. Are we there yet? With support from the Royal Academy of Engineering. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash roads.